Here is my story of horror for you. It's Cambridge themed and partially true. I have an open mind to ghosts and ghouls on Hallow's Eve. You know, apparently people have called me sceptical, but I find that hard to believe. But something scary did happen one night, and the story won't take long. I've produced this tale using only my poetic mind and uh, rhymezone.com. It was a cold October evening and I was feeling dour. I tried my best to live in the moment, though only for my allocated quarter of an hour. As usual, the sound of slow, dripping water was stopping me getting to sleep. But when you have my level of self-esteem, it can be hard not to weep. So, awake, I chose the ADC bar over finishing my set work. But there I discovered more dicks and twats than the entire Pornhub network. So, I walked back into town, shivering from the cold, and I never would have guessed how the night would then unfold. A townsperson stopped me while I was walking about and Oi, how's Hogwarts? were the words he then chose to shout. Now, I've encountered this kind of abuse before, maybe once or twice. And when it comes to slagging a students off, I do have some advice. If you want to insult our university, personally I would, not to compare it to one of the best things about all our childhoods. I quite like Harry Potter, as a kid it was rather fun. I mean, you may as well use the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Thought Park or Jungle Run. Robot Wars, my first wank, any of those would have done. Assuming your aim was to evoke nostalgia from the year 2001. If you wanted to levy a proper critique, any of these would pass. State school access, sexist swap culture. I were not allowed to walk on the grass. But as a Cambridge student, I must be careful not to be mocking or snide. I, I don't want it to come across like I think I'm better than others. That's something I want to hide. But he did also say he'd slept with my mum, which was a little weird. But again, that insult's not really something that I've ever feared, because upon questioning, he claimed that it was consensual, enjoyable and such, because apparently she was begging for it, so he wanted it that much. So I can't really see a problem there. You've both had a lovely time. Yeah, I feel sorry for my dad, but he's so into his golf, to be honest, I doubt he minds. So that's my tale of horror. I hope you weren't too scared. Thanks for watching to this point. It implies you've at least slightly cared. I didn't write a proper column this week, I didn't have the time, so I just found some of my old stand-up material and tried to make it rhyme. I'll do something different in a week or so, answer some bigger questions like, you know, was Henry VIII good or bad with women if he had that many wives? You know, why have so many of the cats I've run over already used eight of their lives? <laughs>